If you haven't heard the story of that one time a bishop from Manti, Utah, castrated a young man so that he could marry his fiance, buckle up. Warren Snow was a bishop of the church at Manti, Utah in the 1850s. He had several wives, but there was a fair, buxom young woman from the town that Snow wanted to take as a wife. He professed love to her with all of his powers, visited her at her home, and proposed to make her his wife. She thanked him for the offer, but then told him that she was already engaged to a young man from the church. But Bishop Snow didn't take no for an answer. He told her it was the will of God that she should marry him. He figured the young man was easily enough gotten rid of, either sent on a mission or dealt with in some other way. He told her that her promise to the young man was not binding, because it was contrary to the wishes of her church authorities. The girl refused to marry this bishop. Her home teachers came by and told her to marry Bishop Snow. And her parents, under the orders of the counselors of this bishop, also insisted that their daughter must marry the old man. She still refused. Then the church authorities called on the young man to give up the girl, and this he steadfastly refused to do. He was offered church promotion, celestial rewards, and anything that could be thought of, but he remained true to his intended, and said that he would rather die than give up his intended wife. This unusual resistance to Bishop Snow made him more anxious to get the girl. The young man was ordered to go on a mission, but he refused. It was then determined that the rebellious young man must be forced by harsh treatment to respect the advice and orders of the priesthood. His fate was left to Bishop Snow, who decided that the young man had to be castrated. Bishop Snow is quoted as saying, when that is done, he will not be liable to want the girl badly. And she will listen to reason when she knows that her lover is no longer a man. A meeting was called at the schoolhouse in Manti. The young man was there and was again requested, ordered, and threatened to surrender the young girl to Bishop Snow except the young man refused to give up the girl. The lights were then put out. An attack was made on the young man. He was severely beaten and then tied with his back down on the bench. When Bishop Snow took his bowie knife and performed the operation in the most brutal manner. He then took the portion severed from his victim and then hung it up in his schoolhouse on a nail so that it could easily be seen by all who visited the house afterward. The party then left the young man weltering in his blood and in a lifeless condition. During the night, he had succeeded in releasing himself from his confinement and dragged himself to some haystacks where he lay until the next day. He was discovered by his friends and regained some health. The Utah residents said that he was an idiot and a quiet lunatic ever since. Bishop Snow later used the mangled parts of the young man whenever he taught a lesson that the priesthood must be obeyed. The young woman was soon after forced to be sealed to Bishop Snow. When Brigham Young heard of the treatment of this young man, he was angry, but unfortunately he let Bishop Snow get away with it. This is just one of the many disgusting stories in Mormon history.